right, folks, let's move on to topic number two. We are taking quite a left turn here. Yep. We're going to talk about rats. A group of dog owners in Adams Morgan have taken it upon themselves to hunt rats. Yep. Their dogs roam the city, killing any rats that they see. Marshall Weinberg, who trains dogs to catch rats, is live with us to talk about it. So thanks for joining us, Marshall. First of all, but second of all, uh, good work. How's it, how's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing? All right. So what exactly are you doing? What's the strategy here? You bring the dogs out and you just, you just let them walk around Adams Morgan? How, how is this actually happening? Our dogs are kind of trained through genetics and just trained through our handling to work and locate different rats and find the spacks in different parts of the city and kind of tell us where they are and where they're going. Well, uh, one of the things I'm, I'm fascinated in knowing is the is the safety of this. I mean, again, I'm, I'm, this is just a personal thing from a dog perspective, like the rats themselves. And I'm curious what the safety is in terms of diseases and everything. Oh, that's a great question. Our dogs are all vaccinated against lepto and rabies. Leptospirosis is kind of the big issue that you deal with rats. The key is just vaccinating, keeping them healthy, and going to your veterinarian once a year. The key thing is, is that if you're keeping an eye on your dog, then you shouldn't have nearly any issues. Uh, can I ask about the timing of this? Like, because it, it's late at night. I was reading like after 11 p.m. Is there a reason for the time? I mean, I know I get the idea of it's a Saturday night, but why that late? The rats typically move around more at night, and also it's just less foot traffic from the people. It's a little bit easier dealing at 10.30 in those places in the alleys. There's a lot of foot traffic when it comes to rats there. We've only been to that area twice. But I think I've at least seen about 30 to 40 rats moving. <laughs> and that's before we were there. All right, Marshall, I'm gonna ask the question maybe everyone is thinking, but isn't gonna say it. So once the dogs attack the rats, kill the rats, then you've got a dead rat carcass mm -hmm. on your hands, and that's up to the humans. That's a human problem now. Yeah. So what do you guys do with that? As soon as that happens, we immediately dispatch. A lot of the areas we're hunting near are, are trash cans, dumpsters, areas, areas where we could safely clean and get rid of them. And that we also try to time ourselves as well if we can with trash, they so they go immediately. Why do you think the dogs, okay, the dogs seem to enjoy this from what I understand? Like, I mean, obviously getting out and walking around is something dogs love to do in general, but why do you find that this is, is this just a fun activity? Do you think they know, do you think they know what they're doing? I think in general, we're going more towards like terriers and sighthound type dogs. And we're not bringing like our Labradors and Dalmatians out. It's typically terriers that are bred to do that for a while and really enjoy the work. We have some terriers at, at four to six months old, we think they're ready to take on the world. And we have to kind of build them up, help them let them be confident. And by the time they're a year old, they really enjoy and love working those rats and finding and locating. And it helps them feel less frustrated and, and it has them to do with that drive. A blessing, a blessing for yeah, the dogs the and dogs for the safe. humans in Adams yeah. Morgan. All right, Marshall Feinberg, thanks so much for joining us and good luck out there yeah. on Saturday I night. All right.